The conversation surrounding Memphis Grizzly star John Morant has very quickly turned completely and totally political. And that's exactly what places like ESPN want. JJ Reddick going up there and basically saying that John Morant should face no consequences. And instead, we should be focusing on consequences for Republican lawmakers. That's actually what he went out there on ESPN and said. He got blasted for it by a lot of people in the public. But now, someone else is blasting JJ Reddick. Didn't say him by name, but everybody knows exactly exactly who he's talking about, and that is Charles Barkley. Last night, Game 1 Eastern Conference Finals, Charles Barkley called out some people in the media over this John Morant thing, people who are trying to say he shouldn't be punished, and we've talked about this multiple times. Here on this channel, we fully advocate everyone you know, using your Second Amendment right, carrying a weapon on you, protecting yourself. Absolutely. There's a big difference between that and repeatedly being caught on Instagram Live, dancing to music while dangling your gun out, trying to act like a gangster, trying to act hard. There he is at the strip club, just dangling his gun around, rapping to music at 3 a.m. in the morning while he's drunk. Um, there's a big difference between these things and responsible gun ownership. It's not a it's not a race thing. It's not anything like that. Nobody's up in arms over Draymond Green out there at the gun range. No one's upset about Draymond Green going out there and using weapons responsibly. This is when it becomes a problem. This is what people like Charles Barkley are talking about. And he ripped J.J. Redick and a lot of other people who are refusing to try to hold John Moran accountable for just being a retarded idiot. That's really what he's talking about. John Moran is being stupid. And that's what Charles Barkley's talking about here. First of all, I, I got to say something, man. We got some idiots, some fools, some jackasses on television that really just piss me off talking about Josh should make a stand saying he didn't break any laws. He didn't do anything wrong. We're in a state where you can carry your gun. Those guys are just, they're just freaking idiots. And honestly, freaking idiots. And that, he's specifically talking about J.J. Reddick right here. And keep in mind, these two incidents of him on IG Live aren't the only times. You've got reports of John ja Morant pointing a gun from a car, pointing a gun at people in the Pacers organization. Again, I think after a game. You've got reports of him pointing a gun again on somebody that he beat the shit out of. Like, these are things out there about John ja Morant. Because y'all won't let me say what I want to say. It's we don't care for it. It, it. it pisses me off when I hear guys say that, yo, know, man. When you're making $100 million a year to play sports, your life changes. There are certain rules and regulations you have to live by, plain and simple. You can't do stupid stuff. That's the trade-off. Now, if you want to do all that stuff and give all that money back, more power to you. You can make that stance. You know what? I want to do what I want to do. I want to flash my gun and make videos and do things. Okay, that's fine. But you can't make money on the NBA doing this stuff. And that's the other thing. No one's really saying that John Morant necessarily, although he could have, by brandishing a firearm, especially in public in the club, the way that he did, he could be breaking some laws, certainly. But uh, but like, no, the, the idea of someone that wants to make a video and, you know, hold your gun around and try to act like you're hard, try to act gangster, they're not breaking any laws, but certainly... Your private company, the NBA, might not want that to be the image that's out there, especially if they've already talked to you about it. I, I just hope that he grows up and realizes, like, yo, man, first of all, you're not a thug. You're not a criminal. You're not a crook. You got making $100 million a year to dribble a stupid. 200. 200 million to dribble a stupid basketball. And it, you hit the lottery. We all hit the lottery to do something. There's people out there work nine to five, eight to nine hours a week, gonna make $25,000 a year. They would kill to be in our situation. And, you know, Kenny's right. At some point, it's not your friend. Bill Parcells used to always say, and I love it. He says, yo, man, you're just an unlucky dude. Bad stuff happen around you all the time. You're just an unlucky dude. No, 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 man. <laughs> you got to look in the mirror and say, yeah, you know what? Maybe I'm the problem. And it's, it's disappointing because the kid's a great player. But to be to be a fool already, then be a bigger fool a couple months later. And this is like your fifth or sixth gun thing. And like I say, hey, I'm a guy. I'm a gun guy. But I don't understand why you're flashing it. My bodyguard teasing me, man, if you touch your gun, you better shoot somebody. It ain't for everybody to know you got. And he riding around with, I guess he think he would Anquan Fuqua and Steven Spielberg. You got your friend. <laughs> so so there's, there's Charles Barkley's, you know, rant about John Morant and about the people in the media, specifically people like J.J. Reddick. That's who he's talking about. That's who he's talking about. JJ's rant went viral. Yeah, we know JJ Reddick. We know you're trying to become a coach. We know you're trying to win over black athletes after, uh, you know, going up against Kendrick Perkins about the whole MVP voting thing. We get it. Like, it's very easy to see through what you're doing, but it, it looks really, really fake. And Charles Barkley now also calling out JJ Reddick for his thoughts on the entire John Morant situation. What do you guys think? Again, 
Uh, I, I agree with a lot of what Chuck said there. I have no problem with people, you know, taking pictures of the guns, posing with the guns, anything, because you should be proud. It's fun to go out there to the range. It's fun to go out there and have a range day. I've done it myself. But there, there's a big difference. I will bring it up again. There's a big difference between, you know, somebody who's having fun with guns, who's operating safely, and, and this, right? There, there's a big difference between these things. And John Moran has been worn multiple times, and it doesn't seem to have stuck for him, and I don't think it will anytime soon. Let me know in the comment section below what you think about Charles Barkley calling out JJ Reddick and John Morant. Smash the like button, subscribe to the channel, ring the bell for notifications, share this video out there, and I'll talk to you later.